Harry, and other objects approaching impact in ten seconds. Ten seconds? Do you mean to say that it's not going to collide with Earth, then? Absolutely correct. Look at that out there! Oh, my God, it's coming right for us! Steady and keep your eyes open, because our safety depends on it. Stay calm. The comet will pass by us shortly. There's no need to panic. It's changing its course! Bring all the injured crew to casualty and activate damage control teams. Captain, there's an unidentified object that just showed up on the radar screen. I don't know where it came from. Do you have any idea what it is? No, sir. I haven't seen anything like it before. Huh? It, it disappeared? It was there a minute ago. Attention! Sir! Our great ship, the Star Wars, has a sacred duty to maintain the peace in this sector of the galaxy to ensure the safety of the world. Ivy, the most talented and intelligent girl in the world, will be broadcasting on our monitor, notifying us of any imminent attack. Don't jeopardize this mission over some silly mirage, understand? Yes, sir, I understand, sir. Did you really see something out there? Yeah, of course I did. I'm sure of it. I tell you, it just appeared on my screen suddenly and disappeared the same way. Well, if that's the case, you should file a complete report with the captain. Yeah, I know. I thought it over, but he'll probably just give me another lecture about it all. That's all. Huh? What do you think? Huh? Oh, look at that asteroid. Huh. Well, I still say you should report it to the captain. Don't worry. I'm sure it won't be any problem. Well, I guess you're right. There's probably some very simple explanation about all this. Yeah, you're right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's great. We've passed through the danger again, just as we've done for hundreds of years. And it won't happen again for another few hundred years. And we have Ivy to thank for all of this. Oh, she is the most intelligent girl in the world. Oh, if only we had the Atmo systems in the world. If only they could be operated by her, we'd always be safe from falling objects from... Huh? Oh, what was that? It looks like a falling object. Oh, so it does. Well, I suppose I do can make mistakes sometimes. Oh, I hope you made it. Oh, terrible. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh. What is that place where it landed? Oh, I think that's Ivy's backyard, if I'm not mistaken. Ivy, the world's most talented girl? Yeah, well, that'll be all right. And there are 33 security guards over there, and each one as good as you guys. Hmm.
That's only a cat. That silly thing nearly scared me half to death. <laughs> What do you think you're doing here? <laughs> I have a feeling I better give Ivy a call right away. Yes, everything is fine here. <laughs> Ivy, Ivy, what happened? Ivy! Oh, 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 I don't know. Oh, 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 what is it? The screen. That's very strange. It seems as though something's wrong with Ivy. Captain! Captain! We are in danger. The enemy is attacking. Oh, no! An atomic bomb is approaching! Atomic bomb? Form a screen number one. I want to see where they are. Uh-huh. Oh. All right, you tell me who you are and what you're doing on the screen, huh? That talented girl, Ivy, is now under my control and is being treated by my staff at the moment. From now on, I'll be giving you your directions. I'm coming now, and if you give me a great welcome, I'll let you go on living. If not, you'll die. Without the permission of the Space Department, there's no way you could enter Oh, here. really? Oh, a ship! Look! Another ship! Oh, no! So that's it. They snuck up on us while the comet was interrupting our communication. You have run out of chances, and now I will see to it that you all die. Ha! cannot hold out any longer. Our defenses are crumbling and they'll come to Earth in a short time. Please help. There's no way we'll save Ivy by using the usual methods. 
If you fail and she dies, then the whole human race is in danger of being destroyed. You must save her, you understand? Oh, that's terrible. The stakes are pretty high. Now, what should I do? Anything you want. Just save her. I have to go now. You two come with me. Oh, my goodness. What does he think I am? A magician or something? Mm. Well, then, you two, how do you find my vehicle is handling? It isn't really a car. It's supposed to be a tank. Well, right? well, 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 now we could certainly serve that purpose. Well, we'll be using this tank for launching an attack, then? No, no, this is much too small for a successful attack. I must bring out Diatron 3. Well, then, is everything all right? There's no problem. Oh, well, it's an important mission. I wish you every success in your work. Yes, Dr. Ting. They will be surrendering so to me. Sir, there's a robot approaching. What? Uh, that's a robot from Earth. It looks quite good, but there's no way it can beat ours. Paris B, show him what you can do. Go on. Go ahead. Show him. That's it. Dr. Ting, do you think that Diatron 3 needs any assistance from us? No, Diatron 3's only function is to give us more time to save Ivy, that's all. <sighs> Dr. Sherlock, have you made any progress at all in saving Ivy? Go get a table from outside. The bullets she was shot with contain horrible bacteria which have already spread throughout her body. As time goes by, all her white blood cells are being killed. That means we must inject some sort of antiseptic into her. No, it's too late for that, I'm afraid. The bacteria have already invaded her heart. A massive dose of antibiotic now would in itself prove absolutely fatal. Even if we remove those auto-indicating computers from Ivy's brain, it'll still take a long time to accomplish. Within that time, we would already have been destroyed by the tongs. What is the use of the rebirth of computers anyway nowadays? Listen, I have developed a very interesting theory about all this. Huh? Hold it! What are you doing here? I've come to monitor the patient's temperature. We're having a meeting. Can't you come back in 10 minutes or so? We have complete responsibility for all the patients. I'm sorry, but that's the rule. Excuse me. That's right. I'm afraid he's only obeying the rule. Come on, let's take a look at the screen. A crocodile? That's right, I am using it in my latest experimental project. Oh, it was smelted by those lights over there. Actually, the croc is still there, but you would need a microscope to see it. Mm. Mm. Oh! A diminishing ray! Oh. Yes, that's right. The croc has been reduced. So what do you think of my latest discovery? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, how did you accomplish it? It only requires the use of atomic light, a certain pressure, and the right temperature. 
Oh, oh, that means something that big can be reduced to the size of a speck of dust. But how do you propose to use this discovery, fantastic as it is, to help Ivy? We've got to reduce the best fighter we've got and inject him into Ivy's body so he can fight the bacteria. Inject a fighter into her body? The plan has been changed. Retreat to the workshop immediately. Retreat? Yes, just shut up and retreat! Okay, but I don't even know if we've won or lost yet. Mr. Tongues, it appears the Earth robot is leaving. That's highly unusual. It makes no sense that they be retreating now. Has Ross come back from the mission I sent him out on yet? Huh? No, sir, not yet. We've had no word. It may very well be that they know our plan by now. Bacteria. I know I'm small, but how will I fit into the body? There's no more time for all this joking around. Tong and his evil army are getting closer to the earth every minute. Look at that. That's absolutely incredible. Don't make any unnecessary noise. I've got to kick them up now. Give me the hypodermic and the reduced solution. Bring Ivy here immediately. Goodness, that's absolutely incredible. Come in, headquarters. This is Bacteria Substation 9. Do you read me? Come in, headquarters. He's too good. Right away. Who has the 
wants to fight with me now, huh? Uh-huh. Stupid robot, how could it lose against the Red Star conventional robots? Well, your robot didn't seem to be anything special. It broke easily. Well, how dare you insult my robot like that? No, just because it was filled with that unusual substance. <laughs> What's going on? The Star Wars was defeated by Tonks. He's coming this way right now. <laughs> Doctor, I've decided that I want you to inject me into Ivy's body. Hmm. Oh, no, Doctor, please. You can't do that. It would be far too dangerous. Be quiet. We can't be concerned with our own personal considerations. The life or death of the whole world is at stake now. I think you have the same idea in mind, Chi. It's such a good idea for you to go in there, Chi. It's brilliant. Oh, if we are to succeed, we must depart from the usual time-tested methods and proceed in a wave of dynamic and bold reasoning. It's absolutely vital to the success of this mission that I we depart from... I want to go, too! Oh, absolutely not. You've got to stay here in the lab and help us sort things out. I'll tell you this. If I can't go, then Chi can't go either, and that's final. Oh, all right. than I ever expected it to be. We didn't come here for a picnic. We have got to be serious. Oh, I don't care if we're supposed to be serious. I'm having fun. Oh, gee, look. Look over there. Oh. No, Chi, don't go. Listen to me. The control mechanism is being attracted by a magnetic force, and there's no way that you'd ever be able to go fast <gasps> Daddy, 
Well, then, where do you suppose it's gone? It must be around here somewhere, Karen. Oh, what if we aren't able to find the control mechanism? What would happen then? So do you have any idea at all? <sighs> it's more like what wouldn't happen, Karen. Diatron 5 couldn't be joined to fight the enemy. So we must find the control. It's absolutely vital. We've got to find it. Wonderful, Chi, to be able to stay in this dream world forever and ever. If we don't finish our business, this dream world and everything else will be destroyed in less than an hour. What do you mean by that? It's so peaceful here. You're just being a killjoy. <laughs> Who's there? Who are you? Drop your weapons and come down here right now. You've been completely surrounded. Drop your weapon or we'll be forced to kill you. Gee, he's on our side. He's one of the white soldiers. We've come here on a mission to help you, and I must insist that you take us to your king. You drop your weapons first, and only then will I take you for an audience with our king. Do it, Chi. I really want to get a close look at their place. That's right. In the days before the Red Star developed such a powerful weapon supply, this truly was a peaceful place. But now we're just like a candle in the wind. Your Majesty, the mighty warrior Samba stands beside you, so you mustn't be afraid. Yes, I know, Samba. You're a very great fighter indeed. Only yesterday I succeeded in killing those red soldiers. And if there is anyone in the entire universe who could defeat me, I don't know who it is. <laughs> Uh, what are you laughing at? Do you want to get punched in the face or something, huh? What do you mean, Universe? This is only Ivy funny here, you stupid dope. <laughs> what? Stupid, you say? That'll be enough, Samba. Sire. You must be polite with our guest, Samba. Please don't defame our knowledge of history and simple common sense. It didn't mean anything except we're on a mission. Karen. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. Oh. Well, the universe is endless, so vast and wide, it is beautiful beyond anything imaginable. So tell me, which planet do you young people come from? I come from my home planet, Your Majesty. Home planet? Home planet? That sounds quite familiar. Tell me, where is this home planet located? Your Majesty must excuse me, but this is not the most important matter. You're yeah, quite right. I got carried away and forgot. Samba, tell me, are all the soldiers quite ready now? Yes, we have ten fighters ready now, sire. You only have ten soldiers? Oh. Yes, I'm afraid that is the case. They are all we have left now, other than children and old people, that is. But with only ten soldiers, how can we hope to break up the Red Star group, huh? I am counted among those ten, so what are you worrying about, you coward, you? How dare you call me a coward, you fat toad? You, 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 you jerk! Stop that now, will you, Samba? Yes, sire. Now quickly gather the soldiers to help this gentleman. Yes, sire. During our journey, we lost part of our robot. Do you know where we might find it around here? You lost it. 
Yes, and it is an extremely important part as well. I'm afraid it will be very difficult to find in this vast and endless universe of ours. Uh, yes, I know. Your Majesty, we really must go now. Farewell and good luck. I hope you defeat the Red Soldiers. <laughs> All right, get back to work. What are you looking at, you lazy bums, huh? You get up and you get back to work. You better start moving now or I'll kill you right where you lie, you understand? Enough! Take him to the special treatment room. He's gone. Mistress returns. Yes, well. Have you prepared my bath the way I instructed you? Yes, mistress. It's all ready with perfume in it. Good. Now take these clothes and clean them. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. Take off my boots. Uh, well... What are you waiting for? Isaac? Take off my boots. Yes, mistress. <laughs> oh, it feels great. <sighs> Damn, I hate this. I'm sick of it. Oh, no, I've been caught by the camera robot again. Now what am I going to do? Oh. Here you are, mistress. So you're improving, you know, like white wine. Bust you into little pieces and put you in the melting machine. Now take these dirty clothes away and get them clean immediately. Do you understand, you stupid robot? Yes, mistress. <laughs> Even though I'm a captive and a robot to boot, how can I stand her insult? Hey, robot, tell me, how is our beautiful General Mary doing these days? I don't get to see her too often. Oh, I don't know why I shouldn't. I'm the strongest and most handsome man in the group. She should be married, and I'm the obvious choice. <laughs> How's that? Excellent. Now, let's split up, go forward, and break through their perimeter. We're here to help you, but don't give orders to my men. I'll do that myself. All right, brave warriors, let us proceed with our attack. Number one, drop down and run to coordinates. Number two, drop down and run to coordinates. Number three, drop down and run to coordinates. Are you all right, huh? Gee! Bye, Pam! Bye, Pam. It's so good to see you, old buddy. It really is. 
How could you leave me here and let me have such a hard Sorry, time? Sorry, Sam, we know how difficult it must be for you here all alone. I so hate it here. Scary. I want to go home. You've done so much for us, by the time. No one could hope to ever do so much. Well, do you know what I've had to put up with? I must take my revenge. Master, master. <laughs> there was a soldier killed at the east entrance. A soldier was killed? Master! Master, bad news! A soldier was just killed at the north gate as well! That can mean only one thing, and that is that the white soldiers are attacking. Mary, what are you doing? We're under attack right now. Don't you know that? Hmm. Oh, brother, take it easy. I'll take care of it. What a nuisance he is. There's nothing to worry about. Come on, you evil woman! What did you say? What did you say? Mm. I'll finish you up. <laughs> I'll finish you. Oh, be you no good little oh. 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 soldiers, get rid of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, soldiers, get him out of here. Ah. What a useless piece of junk. Who are you? What are you doing here? We're here to save the white soldiers. Now take us to your king, right away. No need for that. In fact, I'd like to offer you a position as my assistant. How about that? Oh my, what a self-serving woman. I can ask my brother to give you the same rank as mine. It's your only chance of survival. You know that? Chief, don't listen to her. She's always stalling for time. Quickly, I said, lead me to your king. Stop stalling. What's wrong, you deaf or something? Huh? Well, all right, but I tell you, you'll regret it. You still have the choice to be my assistant, you know. Hmm? Huh? Oh, well, I can't help you now. Hey, master, master. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Why are you so excited? Uh, your Master, Majesty, sir, General Mary is coming right away. Yes, well, you know that my sister comes in here almost every day. What's the problem? Well, you see, Master, that she's just, um, she's coming out. Well, who are you people, and what are you doing here? If you don't promise us something, we're going to see your sister dead. Really? What might that be? It's quite simple. Just set free all your captives and the white soldiers and do it now. Hmm. <laughs> Open the curtain and show our guests what's become of their power. Uh, oh, hello, Karen. Well, you see, I didn't eat anything this morning, so I wasn't fighting like myself. I'm sorry. Easy, old boy. Well, then, let us make the exchange now. All right, but you set free all the white soldiers first, you understand? Yes, but of course. <laughs> I told you it was in your best interest to negotiate with us. Gee, get away. Be quiet, you stupid girl. Now I'll ask you again for the last time. Do you want to be my assistant, or do you want to be eaten alive, huh? Enough of this nonsense.
Hey there, who are you two? You have no need to worry. We will not harm you in any way. Well, that means you're not members of the Red Soldiers group. This is a neutral place. Neither Red nor White Soldiers are allowed to stay. In fact, nobody is allowed to come anywhere near this place. And I'm afraid that includes you. So I must ask you to leave here immediately. Please leave. Hold it. I don't know my way back. What am I supposed to do now? Tell me that. I don't really care, as long as you leave here straight away. But I'm too tired. Please, let me stay and take a rest. You've got to leave this place now. Checker, he really does look tired. Perhaps we shouldn't be too strict with him this time. I think that we should give him a helping hand. Charlie, but we can do that. Checker, do you mean you're refusing my request? Okay, all right. We'll let you rest a while. Thanks. Thank you very much. The only thing we have around here is all this junk metal. It seems to be just attracted here from all around. But it's all completely useless. We've never found a use for it. Metal attracted from all around? Right. Could it be? Ah, I've got to check something right away. I found the Diatron 5 controls! This is fantastic! Now that I've got the controls, I can rebuild Diatron 5! And with that, defeat the robots of the Red Star! Oh, yes, yes! And then they won't be able to do any harm to dear old Mother Earth! What? Earth? What is that? Do you know? I haven't the slightest idea. Neither have I, but he seems so happy, I can feel it too. Yes, I can feel it too. I feel good. I feel joy in helping him. Well, that should do it. Mm, Charlie, we have to give our friend a good meal before he leaves. never have guests. I'll fix him a wonderful meal to nourish him and send him on his way.
Dear Lord, I pray that your child, Shalini, will find eternal peace in your loving embrace. Amen. <laughs> Checker, I am truly sorry for what happened to Shalini. Is there anything I can do to help you? <laughs> Gee, there's only one thing and only one thing that I want you to do, and that is to take me with you to fight the Red Soldier. Checker, there's no need for you to help me do that. No need, you say? It is my only need. They took away Charlie from me. They took her away from me forever. I know, Checker, you're most welcome to come with me. Thank you, Chi. You won't regret it. It'll it be, be my, my honor, honor to fight, fight by your, your side, side against, against the, the evil, evil one. one. Okay, Diatron 5, come on, let's go. You your Majesty. All right, calm down and tell me what's happening. A very powerful robot's approaching and it's closing in fast. A very powerful robot? Are you saying it's more powerful than our Paris is? Yes, I'm afraid it is. How dare you say that? Take him away and kill him now. Uh, but your, your Majesty. <laughs> Go see to this robot. I will, don't you worry. Ever more powerful weapons are constantly being developed. Can he win over me in Paris? Oh, so it's you. This time you can't get away. Number one from the front and two and three from the right and left. Get him. Their headquarters is within firing range. All right, I'll finish you up. Ready and fire! Three Paris robots doing. Headquarters is getting bombed. Why, that sneaky little son of a gun, he's going directly for our headquarters. Paris one, two, and three attack at the same time. Oh no, he's split up. Hurry, take one section at a time, you stupid robot. What do you think you're waiting for, huh? Stupid robot! Get him! Don't let him get close to our headquarters! Let me get her! Diatron 5, fire! <laughs> now it's a new game. Without control, these robots are useless. Diatron 5, now fire! Your Majesty, the control system is broken. What shall we do now? Paris 2 has been destroyed. I simply cannot believe it. They are so incredibly powerful. 
The system's on fire. It's going to explode any minute. The only thing we can do is beat a total retreat. The whole city will explode in five minutes. We may lose our headquarters. Then the enemy will be destroyed as well. Now, everyone, run for your lives. <laughs> it is going to explode. You had better run if you value your life. Thanks for the information, but I'd like to stay here with you and die. What? Charlie would have lived to have been here for this. You poor misguided fool. Stay where you are. Uh -huh. Hey, what's that? Now I've got you. Huh? You'll be killed with your own gun. You should be proud of that. Huh? What's that? Behind you, quick! That's the oldest trick in the book. Checker, come on, let's go. Hold it, it's all going to explode. You better get away while you can. Come on, Checker, we've got to escape. Let's get away together. Come on, let's go. Come on, I've got to be with my Charlie. Please, just leave me alone, will you? Leave me alone. Checker, come to your senses. Charlie wouldn't have wanted you to do this. Come on. Nobody can stop me now. Stand aside. Those fighters are in some real trouble. Oh, God. Uh, oh, wow, wow. Look at oh, that. Look at oh, that. Monster. Oh, golly. Oh, oh, oh. Let's oh, get out of here. Oh, oh, monster oh, or something. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Nash on five, go and attack the gangsters in space. Drum 5 is holding and advancing towards us. It can only mean the micro-infection unit inside Ivy's body has been destroyed. Our plan has failed. Ivy will be awake soon and then we too will certainly be destroyed. Retreat! 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 If I let them get away now, they'll only return again. I've got to finish them once and for all. Diatron 5, Death Force Ray, fire! 